What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff. Wow, you guys are really far away. Can you? Hey, can you guys see me? Here I am, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the vanilla amplified server. Hope that you guys are having a good. Hey, what is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here hanging out today doing some things wearing a shirt I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We're playing on that vanilla amplified server It is a great day some stuff things have been happening. I've been building but first before we talk about that Let's take a look in here. What is this? Some stacks of quartz. Oh my god like the best thing that ever happened A stack and a half of quartz. Oh, yes ten diamonds Holy crap! Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch 1, Efficiency 4, called Generosity? Generositas? Gen Generosita. What is that? Give me this book. You're enchanted. Rusty's thanks. Rusty greatly appreciates your donation, even more so when you don't ask for payment. I didn't want payment. <laughs> GD, you're so nice. So uh, Tango gave me the... Gave me this as payment for the uh, stackity stacks of, um, what do we do? Wood that we went and harvested for him. And we got a really amazeballs pick. Silk Touch. How many Silk Touch picks do we have now? <laughs> well, we got the one on us. We got the one here. And we got another. We got three. So we don't have to ever worry about Silk Touch again, ever. This is the best. Now, you know what? Really, honestly, it's funny, but Fortune is the thing, man. Fortune 3 seems to be the new thing. It's the new uh, Silk Touch. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. Where is there a chest with nothing in it? Um, um, mis miscellaneous. We'll save it in there. We always save our gifts. So, all right. We're hanging out today, doing some things. I've been working on it. And I got to tell you guys, this is super difficult. <laughs> I'm freeform designing this in survival um, with no, like... No nothing. So, but I've done some work. So let's go ahead and head down and take a look at it. So um, it looks a little bit fugly, but don't worry, don't worry. You wait and see. Once it's done on all of the points, on all six points, it's gonna be baller. So um, yes, I've got one of the supports built finally. It took a long time to do just the one. Now the first one's gonna be super hard because I have to design it. And like I said, I've been free handing this. There's no like measurement tools being used. Um, and there's no a creative mode being used, but as you saw in the beginning, I have a camera account now. Uh, so if you ever see Snipe Pager in one of the Hermit's videos, that's my camera account. And um, so I've been working on this um, and using the camera account because it's really hard to see. I need to be able to see it from further away. So um, yeah, a little cheaty, but I'm willing to take the hit. Um, if you don't, uh, if people are mad, good because I don't. <laughs> because I don't know. It doesn't. There's no way, possible way, I could do this without it. Um, so all right, so we got our supports, and this is kind of what they're looking like up in here. And then I did finish this ring all around the outside edge too, and that's just kind of to add. It's just to add for look. It's totally for aesthetic. Um, that's it. Um, but we did have the scaffolding up here, which is not really helping us out in any way anymore. Um, a little bit um, for once I when I initially do this, or initially do the designs, but not really in its entirety. Does the scaffolding really give us any, a hand anymore? Um, also, been thinking about lighting options up here. I'm pretty sure these torches are gonna go away, and for the interim, we're gonna stick glowstone up in the up in this piece. So we're just gonna use regular glowstone, even though I hate that block, um, and I really wish that there were other lighting options that weren't redonkulously difficult to get. Um, but yeah, it's the thing, and that's the way it's gonna have to be. Do we have any paints on us? Sweet, I lost the paint over here. Oh wait, I'm not gonna need it anyway. This is gonna be knocked out too. So um, the crazy part is, is that this is really only one half of the design. I'm going to tr attempt to mirror this for the diagonal, but I'd have no idea how it's gonna turn out. Um, it may turn out really poorly. Um, I have to see. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Um, also, I did take a second, and a couple of people have commented that the star was like off kilter. It wasn't, the measurements weren't correct. And I looked at it, and it was. It was wrong. There was like one was nine, and one was seven, and one was blah, 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 and now they're all the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now they're all eight long. Um, and yeah, and so that's the thing. That's what we've got done so far um, this afternoon. And it's been a long, already a long day. 
<laughs> Getting this first one, though, is really where it's at. It should be pretty simple or yeah, fairly easy to uh, recreate it um, exactly for the other ones. And I feel like also the base is really good as well. Like the way that this curves into the base is great. I love the way that this curves up into this. Oh, sweet. It's raining and it's night. Um, also, the other thing that I have um, my thought, uh, some thoughts about is using this um, chisel quartz as a border inside of the polished diorite. Um, and then as we move up, I could continue it. But what will happen is at the top here. Oh man, it is really raining. Yeah. Dude, he's mad. So let's go ahead and we'll head up and then we'll talk more about it. What is that noise? Ugh, what is that noise? <laughs> so um, as we head up to the top, if we were to continue that inner uh, border of the chiseled quartz, what will go on is that in about here, this will all become chiseled quartz. It may look good. It may not. I don't know yet. Um, and so I may do that, but I'm not going to do it now because I am fairly low on quartz. You know, um, some people have been taking a look at the videos, I think, and somebody was saying, oh, look at all the diorite I've got and all the quartz because I have like four stacks. I don't know if this, I've got a bunch now, actually. This is the chiseled. I don't know if it's going to last. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said today, oh, we got an ender pearl too, by the way. Today, we're going to attempt to go ahead and complete this bad boy. Um, but so that's why I'm going to save it. I'm not going to do, I'm going to do the border of, uh, the inner border of the chisel glass. Let's sleep. <laughs> so random. Um, all right. So I'm going to do the inner border of the chisel glass up into the point at which I did on the first, uh, the first, uh, support there that I finished. Snipe pager joined. Snipe pager left. Who's snipe pager? Yay. It's daytime at the very least. I think it will not stop raining for us, of course. Um, so yes. I will continue that chiseled quartz border right up to, you can't really even see it now. It's too dark in there. Right up into here and then stop it. Um, and then if we finish the whole thing and then we have extra quartz left over, then we'll take one of these and probably um, alter it up. Yeah, it's day. So I'm going to go ahead now and um, I'm going to try to complete one of the diagonals. Um, I'm Thankfully, I, I'm going to build this one right here that's very close to this one and I can just copy it I should be able to copy it fairly easily um, well as far as like I can I'll be able to see it but I think that I might end up actually having to use pen and paper for this and write down what my what the blocks are um, so that I can do it without having to look at one um, while I'm on there because while you're on there it's like super hard to see um, and yeah, so we're taking our scaffolding now. We're going to go ahead and start uh, working on it. Uh, when I get the second one completed and looking good, I'll bring you guys back. BRBs! OMGs, them diagonals though. Um, this is really difficult. This is much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. You can't do a straight up um, mirror image of the other... Um, of the other pedestal holder right here you can't do that it can't be that way um and so i had to change up a little bit and uh the reason that you actually see it a little bit here this almost seems a little bit thinner back there this is a little bit thicker but the funny thing about that is is that this angle is steeper so it really shouldn't be thicker um and it's that on the diagonal there's math. I can like almost get there. Like my brain almost sees it. Almost sees the mathematics here. But like um, on the diagonal, every time you move out a diagonal block, it's not like a full block. Like it's weird. It's like a block and a and a I don't know a sixteenth of a block or a block and a third of a block or something like that. So what ends up happening is after a while, when you go out, um. In order to, I guess it, it, this is really complicated, man. It, and I'm just I'm just figuring out now. It has to do with the circle. It's the circle that makes it weird. It's the circle up here. It's meeting this up with this circle up here is what makes it really odd. Um, and so, because the, the distance from here to the edge is not the same as the distance from this, like, uh, no words. It's, it's so complicated. So anyway, there's distances and words and stuff and things. And then there's stacks are 64, half stacks 32. And um, I fell down like 16 times. And at the end of the day, it is done-ish. The diagonally thing you do is done. So that's great. It's perfect. And um, it looks fairly similar. Even though it's on the diagonal, it's very close. There you can see. It almost looks like, you know what I mean? Almost kind of like two diagonally bits. But it had to be really, really different. <coughs> different. So now I have to um, go ahead and mirror these on all of the other um, pedestals. So I have 
three more Dagnals and three more of the um, of the uh, straighty guys to make. Now it take it took me about um, I would say with all the pillaring up and down and all the stuff and things, probably two hours to do this first one um, because I have to pillar up and pillar down and I got to pillar back up to like do this and that and I had to put on the upside down slabs and all that. So and then I did like freehand it and get it right. So it took me about, I don't say maybe like an hour and a half to do this one because um, again, it was all original. Like it wasn't, I couldn't just mirror it. Um, so I don't know how long it'll take me to do the other ones, but it, it's going to be quite a while. Um, I feel like it is time definitely for, what's that? I keep seeing that thing. I think it's a bird. Is that a bird? So I definitely think now um, it's the top of somebody's base, but it just the edge renders in. It looks like a bird. Hello, bird base. So now it's time to complete it. I mean, I think that this is going to be it. I mean, really, what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, sign for Speedy up it. Got that camera account. You guys are going to be able to hang out and check that out now. I'm really excited for that sort of a montage. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like it. But uh, yeah, it's time for Speedy up bit, peeps. And there you have it, peeps. I was actually trying to find a good place to get a view of this thing. I ended up over here at Azuma's base, and I was like, I'll just record. I can't really get a great view of it. I have to travel uh, much too far, much too far, much further than I would like. Fur. So this is a new thing. It's Azuma's little squirt job. He's got a little squirt gun thing. 
makes it interesting to get around in this base. So it's the thing, and you guys have to tell me what you think about the montage and the build in your comment section of the down there. Make sure you hit the like button if you like that stuff, that montage stuff. I had pretty uh, uh, fun doing that with the third, second person, third person camera, but I've never done that before. So we don't, I'm excited. I saw a couple of things. I'm excited to kind of do that some more and get, get you some better angles and stuff. It's going to be rad moving forward in the future. But, um... Yeah, the town crown? I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it is. I, think, I feel like it needs a name. But um, it's definitely a thing, and it's not really done yet either because we've got other things, other parts to add to this. Um, but I feel like it's good. It was really, really, really hard to make. Um, probably the hardest thing I've ever done, like a single build, because of the counting and the just the free handing of it like it wasn't like a diagonal or a straight line or a circle like it was all like something I had to kind of create those angles so um, and doing that took a lot of time um, but yeah it was really really fun and I'm really excited about it so we have a lot more to do um, this is by actually by no means complete yet um, so this ladder is gonna be gone we've got to add lighting in here I think I had said before we are gonna be going with some glowstone lighting we're going to fix this up here, too. Um, once we don't need to get up with the ladder, we'll put some slabs down here and some lighting. Um, probably some, some glowstone or um, redstone lamps. But um, I'd love to use redstone lamps up here, and I could do it for, like, this level. I could use some redstone lamps in here, I think. I'm not sure if I have... Yeah, like, right here. Can I even dig that down? Oh, crap -o. So there's exposed block right there. Crap, but I don't know. We could figure something out. But I think we're just maybe go with glowstone. Um, I really want to light this ring up because this ring looks awesome lit up at night. And I think that these two rings lit up at night would just look really, really cool. It's very beacony almost. Um, it just is the morning now, about two minutes to three minutes into the day, so we won't be able to see it until later. You might have seen it in the video. The bottom ring is super lit up, and it glows. It's white glow. It's really neat. And the top ring is um, is all dark, so we're going to light that up too. So I think that, like I said, we're going to use glowstone for that. Um, I think that's what we're going to have to do until we get sea lanterns um, online. And uh, we're going to put some glowstone down in here too. I want the thing to kind of be lit up, but I want to use the shadows as well. Um, and yeah, so it's a thing. Like, I don't know what else to tell you about it. About it. It's been a long, long day. It's been a long build. Um, probably bound of bound tower proportions where I spent like, um, you know, like a whole day doing it. So, oh, I can't wait to clean up my inventory too. It's going to be the most amazing thing that ever happened. Uh, at least the hot bar is clean. So we got to do some... Um, we got to go ahead and get some um, some XPs. We got some tools to repair ish pretty soon. We only got a little bit left on Mr. Shovel and working it. I think it's actually after this might not be able to be um, repaired again. Also, Bed Island's gone. We talked about it. Uh, me and Azuma did really quickly. Uh, we have a way to get from the spawn back here really easily. And so I removed Bed Island and uh, Bed City or whatever it was. We just took it off. And I think it like looks a lot better without that garbage in the center there. But yeah, so that's the thing. And uh, that's the building. So um, other plans we have for this. What other things are there that, that need to be done? Do you have to say things? Um, what else will we be doing to the town crown? I don't know what to call it. Tell me what you think. Um, we're going to build like a spirally walkway that goes all the way up to it using probably slabity stairs or stair stairs i don't know something like that i don't want it to have it be um a ladder system that you go up um i don't think that's what we want and we might geez i don't know we might do a minecart elevator just because walking up is going to be a really huge pain in the butt i don't know i can't i can't decide yet i don't know what i want to do and the reason why i don't know what i want to do is because time is now a factor i have other projects that i want to get to one of the things that i really want to do we've got our spawn house right over here right so um you know a lot of the guys on the server they do like projects like um farmy things or redstoney things and like Azuma's XP farm, or Azuma's doing a Wither Skull farm thingy doodler, and Tango's doing a Iron Foundry and that. I don't do those things really. I have in the past. I've built farms, of course, um, but I really like to do buildings more than anything. And um, I want to build like a larger area. Like this is our spawn town house right here, but it's kind of just like a starter place. Like it's not. I don't think it's going to be like our official place place i think we're going to do something else maybe somewhere else and i want to have some time to do that so i think we might um 
maybe I'll just put the time in to bang this out really fast and get it complete complete. Um, and then that way we can start doing other things. I still want to go ahead and build the um, the red or a minecart elevator up to the top of this thing too. Um, I think that would be really cool. And then we just got to get some more aesthetic stuff done around here. Like I want to get a better furnace set up. There's so many projects that I want to get done. But yeah, so that's the town crown. Um, the uh, whatever it's going to be called in the end. And I'm really proud of it. It was it, it's not exactly what I had in my mind, um, but it was really um, a difficult build. So I hope that you guys like it. So that's going to be it for today, guys, with these montage bits. And when I put in these long days, sometimes the episodes get a little bit shorter. But I know that you guys understand. Well, because you guys love me and I love you back. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit, peeps. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.